Hello, this is Victor and I'm here with a new weekly tutorial and in that weekly I want to explain uh, the H highlighting as I did here on this part of the armor and I will explain how I did that um, by painting these two weapons of this uh, Tau so it is uh, a modified Shadow Sun that I'm painting as a part of a commission so the first thing as you can see and how I, I arrived to this point, I will not explain because it's not the purpose of this tutorial the, in detail, but just to, to explain how we arrived to this point, I applied administrator gray when I find it. Applied administrator gray as the base color for this miniature, and later on I did a wash with Agvax Air Shade, not this one, Agvax Air Shade, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the, the wash by repainting the armor plates leaving the recesses in the dark color. So I will, as you can see, I will ap apply this gray on the different armor plates leaving the recesses with the dark color in that way we will have all the recesses visible and we will have the segmentation of the armor plates so I will be doing that as you can see here if you find the transition sometimes too strong or you don't like, you can use downstone gray to compensate. And to make it softer. Okay. Or you can even clean with downstone gray. If you want a darker color. So I will be doing that. This is just... Uh, it's not the real uh, edge highlighting, this is just the preparation to do the edge highlighting later on. So I will be doing that and I will be back once you see I apply the I clean the wash with the I'm using downstone combined with administrator gray. So now that I clean the wash using Administrator gray. Now I will start doing the the edge highlight, and will show here how to do it. So I will use administrator gray, that is a lighter gray. If you see here in that side in the in the weapon, this is administrator gray. This is the depth to um, um sorry, sorry. This is called uh, downstone. And then I will use also palette witch flesh for this edge highlights. I will show you different colors when I do the edge highlight. That way you can see how to is applied in different surfaces. So first I will start with the gray. When I have this very light gray here, I will apply directly and the palette which flesh. You can also, and what I will do is I will try to make a very thin line following the edge. So this type of highlight can be very time consuming. And then it's up to you if you want to do all the edges or just some of them. For example, in that weapon that is very square, the pieces are, I will for sure do the main edges of the weapon. So this is a very time consuming, can be very time consuming. But works this type of edge highlight works very well when we talk about armor plates like the Tau or even Space Marines in some parts. So it's not that useful when we talk about uh, surfaces, very round surfaces or smooth surfaces. So here for example what I will do is I will follow this this edge here. I will do this and I will also do this edge. So I follow all the edges 
all these edges with with the lighter gray and this one for example here what I will do to break the uniformity of the armor I will do this small armor plate completely with administrative gray in that way you break the uniformity we'll follow this as you see it's just following the edge with very a lot of passion so here for example that I think the line is too thick what I will do is I will go back to the base color and I will go very next to the line to make it thinner that way you can make thinner lines and here where the I still have room to go lighter what I will do and this is what was done also on the front armor plate I will apply the palette witch blades in some of the edges, not on all of them and another trick that you can do for example here I will make a line that is fading out so you start from the this side you go up and you start reducing the pressure so so I start from here you have to be careful not to put too much paint on the brush and you reduce the pressure when you go up so in that way you see I keep following the different edges first with the administrator gray you will see that I will do the same here and also here at the, the protection of the hand and then I take the white and I do the edge so and as I say this works very well when you have this type of armor plates that have a very well defined edges and slots between the armor plates and you know very well where one where one armor plate is finishing and starting the next one so as you see I keep painting the edge here I will do just the top edge and I will go, I will go down like that I will do the circle around the purple same I will do here at the back of the weapon so I apply first the gray here I, if you see I take a thicker line this is done in purpose here on the corner because then I have room to apply the palette which flesh you can also apply white if you want you have the feeling that it's too thick Again, you go back to the previous color and you can thin it down. So this is how the edge highlight works. So you apply a lighter color at the edges and the separation between the different armor plates. And for this gray, uh, you see on gray is working very well. So on the purple, what I will do, I will use an edge paint from Games Workshop is the color lilac and again I will apply this on the edges be careful not to put too much paint it's important that you control very well tip and the dodge of the paint on your brush see and one with one highlight should be enough on the hands 
on these small parts what I will do is I will do something like that okay I will do the rest of the purple later on but then what I want to show is also on the orange I will do the same on the orange parts so I go to the edges and I follow what I did on the grey part I go down you see this is what you do and then I keep working like that now we, I, I make a closer look make a closer look to the miniature so this is too much light maybe let me take a little bit of light so this side is highlighted and this is I have too much light to show it you see now this side is being highlighted and this weapon is not highlighted yet so this is what it's looking like and this is the other side so I will keep working on that and I will show you the final result as you can see now this is without the edge highlight and this is with the edge highlight in some of the parts so you take this um, and then in a minute I show you how it will look like and this part of course the center of the miniature is completely highlighted so just for your comparison I will keep working on that and I will show you how we look once the old age highlight is finished so this is how it's looking like after doing the highlights on the weapon you see now the definition of the armor plates it's much visible I have more volume you see here for example here on the symbols and all this part have much more definition also here at the back so as you see this is the end result I just wanted to show what is H highlight and what it adds to the miniature uh, I hope you find this tutorial this short tutorial this week um, interesting please let me know if you want to see any other technique or you are interested in any other thing uh, for the next week or for the following weeks um, leave your comment below um, if you li uh, like if you like it subscribe if you're not subscribed thanks a lot for watching and see you again later bye <laughs>